Hello there. Uh, this is a picture of, um, of a commander who is visiting a planet for the first time. Visiting a planet on foot. So uh, I'm just planning it all out in a, a pencil crayon to start off with on a bit of um, kind of mauvey purple paper because the, the sky was the thing that I was really into with this picture. That's what I wanted to show. It was the sky and the sideways stark bright light that I wanted to show. It's a really harsh glare. The clarity of the light and all that. It's it's good the atmosphere in this picture is it's just uh, I, I don't think I captured it particularly well but I, I really enjoyed using the different colours of chalk to blend together to create this, this peculiar dawn, the slow development of daylight on this planet and the blues and reds and purples in the darkness of the space coming out and starting to um, to get lighter as they go towards this uh, star that's just, just clearly about to come over the horizon and the brightness of the, uh, the silhouetted landscape in the distance and the glare and I really wanted to try and have a go drawing that. I'm not sure that uh, I'm done learning to do this yet, I'm still enjoying it but I put tons of different colours in and I, I quite like that. I, I always enjoy sky paintings. I, I like looking at when artists have spent ages developing very gradual and slight differences in colour that you just don't notice unless you sort of shown them uh, on in pigment rather than in light. I don't know whether your, your eyes just are so used to seeing light that you just you just become used to but the, the subtlety of the, the variations and the changes in the hue are really, really lovely to try and copy. Anyway, this is from the new iteration of Elite. This is going to be released. This is presently being community tested by willing and uh, hapless commanders who've bought the trial copy of it. And it's still, you know, it's still in construction, to be honest. But as people are happy to pick out the bugs that are still going to appear and, and help the company to um, improve it so that when we get the game complete it works really well and, and it does what the players want. I mean they're going to do what they do but players are going to be able to have an impact on the company choices within reason at this stage so it's quite good for us to have that chance. This is uh, the first time we've been able to actually um, get out of our spaceships on foot now you land on planets but previously you've always had to get into your little moon buggy your SRV your surface reconnaissance vehicle but now you can get out on foot and, and experience it on a human scale which is just it, it's it's actually really really kind of emotional in a way because because I, I didn't think it was going to be a particular I'm not I'm not gifted at FPS type games where you you know where you you have to have good reaction times and know what you're doing i'm very much a bimbler and uh, and i didn't long for this beforehand there were other things in the game that i thought oh i wouldn't mind doing that more but now it's here and now it's um uh, now it's in testing and, and we can experience it i just realized just how more complete it makes the game how how much more intuitive like you should be able to get out of your spaceship and walk on a station you, you're not always in a buggy not everything's not a drive through and previously that has been the case you have been strapped in a chair the whole time and now i mean for me playing it first time i got to a planet and i was able to get out of my my spaceship we are able to take a, a space taxi to a planet and get off this space taxi on the landing platform and my my sheer I just the joy of being able to like leap I just oh it's just spectacular and the light that you see is different now because there is an atmosphere there I've been to the Thargoid bug hunter places where there's the green green gas and that is eerie and, 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 and really nicely done especially with the background music but this is different this is this is this is like being out in Derbyshire on a cold day with looking out at a pin white star just poking through um, in the distance and it's yeah it's got that quality to it to be fair is a little bit more leafy than these desolate desert planets and that might not have been the best analogy however anyway so that post complete I'm going to uh, start on the figure looking up at the sky in awe and wonder as as I did and uh, it's a bit small to be honest to do in chalk but 
I quite liked doing it anyway. I should have just, I'm going to do a portrait next time. I just a portrait and not mess around too much. Big old chunky size of your thumbnail chalk. Yeah, the harsh light has created quite a stark contrast on the figure. So it's quite glary, which is quite nice. I quite like that. And I'm showing the the um, the space helmet, which I'm not doing yet because I'm not going to do it until after I've done all of the background and the face because it is just a, a thin sheen of this transparent aluminium or whatever it's made from that's protecting this person from probably probably hypothermia. I would imagine it, it doesn't look that warm, does it? These are the ones I've been to are pretty, pretty rocky, pretty icy in, in the system so far. I'm, I'm not terribly affected if it's not getting gunned down. I've been gunned down an awful lot of times, but this particular place seemed abandoned and I was able to bounce and it was just delightful. It was wonderful, really enjoyed it. And uh, this sort of mirrors the effect I feel. I made the mistake when I put this online of, of, of calling it first footfall. And of course, yeah, somebody's been here before, but it, for us players, this is really quite a watershed moment to be able to stand and look around at the sky in in a completely different way and it is a sky it's not vacuum it's 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 got that possibility of adventure now that that i i liked when i first started exploring in my spaceship the the feeling that we could just walk out and find things i know that commander zulu romeo has already been doing that he's walked I can't wait to go and find some plants. That's going to be wonderful. <laughs> I like plants, what can I say? It's, it's definitely a, a real temptation to just start running and head out over the mountain range to see what you can find. However, obviously, you have limited suit power and limited air as well, because obviously these atmospheres don't sustain human breathing yet. Uh, it might not even be an oxygen-based, nitrogen-based atmosphere. Anyway, I'm probably going to make more of these. I really enjoy doing portraits. It's pretty much what I do when I'm not drawing spaceships. So uh, this has been a real, really exciting thing for me to be able to um, picture the commander in a way that you've never been able to before. So uh, I guess watch this space for more and hopefully slowly improving pictures. <laughs>